Welcome to Milak Online Tutorial. Before us is this question in physics that says an electrical heater which draws a current of 20 amperes from a 12 volt battery is used to convert 2 kg of ice at minus 10 degrees centigrade to water at 0 degree centigrade. Now, if the specific heat capacity of ice is 2.1 kJ per kilogram per degree centigrade and the latent heat of fission of ice is 3.3 .3 times 10 to the power of 5 joules per kilogram. The time taken to completely melt the ice is. Now let us recall that heat equals to mass, product of mass and specific heat capacity and the change in temperature. Okay. Now let us also know that heat lost by this electrical heater is heat gain by the ice to change from minus uh, 10 degrees centigrade to water at degree centigrade. So we need to find the energy this ice absorb to change from here from minus 10 degrees centigrade to zero degree uh, centigrade, right? And from height here to be transformed from ice from zero degree to zero degree of water. Okay, so first of all, let us find the heat absorbed by the ice to change from minus 10 degree to zero degree. So here you have a But let us take note that uh, here, let's see, yeah, for the electrical heat energy. Now, our current here is uh, 20 amperes. Our volt here is 12 volt, and our time is what we're looking for. So, to this regard here, you can see my mass here is 2 times uh, 2.1 times 10 raised to the power 3 then times into bracket 0 minus minus 10 oh, there is square square bracket here okay so here we have this is a 4.2 times 10 raised to the power 3 uh, times 0 well, we'll simplify this one it becomes 10 so at the end of the day here we have 4.2 times 10 raised power 4 joules. Okay, now this is the heat required for ice or the heat gain for ice to change from minus 10 to ice at 0 degrees. Now let us find the heat gain by this same ice at 0 degree. To water at zero degree which means there is no change in temperature so here we employ the latent heat of fusion so here we have that the heat here will now be two times latent heat of fusion is given as this 3.33 times 10 raised to the power 5 all right since there's no heat uh, there's no temperature change so here here you have a uh, two sorry So here we have a 6.66 times 10 raised to power 5 joules. All right, the total heat gain here now will now be the addition of this and this. Okay, so here we have a total heat now will now be 0, I mean 6.66 times 10 raised to power 5. Now converting this to 10 raised to power 5 here we have a, this is 0 0.42 times 10 raised to power five okay so here we have a six sorry so now be seven seven point uh, zero eight times ten is power five joules okay now implementing this so here we have a that each heat loss by the electrical heater equals to heat gain by the height okay so this is the total heat gain so here we have 
IVT equals the whole of this 7.08 times 10 to the power 5. So here our current is 20 times our volt is 12 times time which is what 7.08 times 10 to the power 5. So here you can just make the T sort of formula which is dividing both sides by the product of 20 and 12. So all this being cancelled out. So here we have that T equals 7.08 times 10 to the power 5 over 20 times this. This will be 420. Okay, let me probably quickly use my calculator to punch this. Then wrap out. Okay. All right, sorry. This is supposed to be 240. All right, and our time after the mission, we have 49.2 minutes. All right, this is the final, uh, this is solution to this problem. All right, if you are new to my channel, please kindly subscribe and ensure you click on the notification button to be notified of every video I will be uploading, both in physics, chemistry, and in mathematics. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you.